I am Edward, middle initial E, James the second. I am an only child. I have three youngsters. I shouldn't call them youngsters because they all are adults now. But to a father, they always will be my youngsters. My mother, Annie Blue McElroy, is one of the first four graduates of Booker High School. Her parents, Jack and Miriam Jones, both were domestic workers. They had a restaurant, they had a taxi service. My grandparents owned the first telephone in the black community, and it was in, in their business. During the Depression, when no teachers were getting paid, my grandparents sold soup in their restaurant to pay the black teachers. Now, it's Depression, it's soup, how much can you be selling soup for? But whatever, they, all that money went for black teachers. There was a pioneering spirit in our family. And all of us have come through that, even my children are. Mr. Neil Humphrey, he led the fight to integrate the beaches in Sarasota. The first thing that they would do, the way that, that the city would fight us, would police car would come and said, the beach is closed, everybody leave. Well, our folk would leave, and as soon as they got back across the Wrangland Bridge, the beach mysteriously reopened again. But before the fight was over for the beaches, the city fathers saw that the persistence of the NWCP at a point, and they said, look, how would you all feel about if we would build you a swimming pool at the Newtown Community Center? And you wouldn't have to go all the way to the beach. We said, great idea, great. We'd love that pool. So we kept the caravan going. They said, but we are made, you can see the progress. We are building the pool. They said, but you haven't finished it yet, and you may stop. And the caravans kept coming. Now, the pool is finished. They had the dedication of the pool, the ribbon cutting. Everybody was happy. Then we took another caravan. We left the pool and went to the beaches again. They proposed all kind of things for us. They said they would give us a beach down in Venice, behind the airport in Venice. And that wasn't fit for a beach. It was very, very rocky. You had to walk over rocks to get to it. Only thing that resembled the beach was water. It had water. It's a funny thing that how the thing that we had the most of that God put here, man tried to uh, regulate it to their own foolish ways. I am pleased with many of the changes we see in Sarasota and not so pleased with others. I would like to think that we've made some progress, but uh, things keep happening that tells me we still have a long way to go. During the Christmas of 1957, during spring break from Florida a and University, I came home and with three other people who were high school classmates, Book High School class of 1957 was our graduation day. And one of them was Ralph Honor, who was also a student at Florida a and I said, let's go to the library and check out some books. And he said, why do you want to go? You know we can't get any books from the library. I said, well, let's go see. He said, look, I don't want to do this. They would always say, now, my friends, when I would come up with these various kind of ideas, now if they say we can't, we're going to leave, right? I say, right. Now, you promise now, we, we're not going to confront anybody. I said, no, no, no. So Roosevelt Ball, A.W. Ball, Ralph Hunter, and myself, we went down the North Trail to the library. We walked in, there was a counter just beyond the front door, kind of. We walked up and stood there for a minute, 
and then the librarian came out and said, can I help you? I said, yes, um, we, we are going to check out some books. Proudly said, we're college students, we need to do some research over the holidays. She said, have you tried the Newtown Library? I said, that's not a library, that's a joke. And my two partners getting a little edgy. Raph was the closest to me, he kicked me on the leg. And I said, it is our plan to check out some books today. And ma'am, you should call whoever you need to call so that that can happen. And then she, she, she said, uh, uh, hold on just a minute. And she called the number. We don't know where she was calling to. One of my friends said, she's probably calling the police. We need to go. We need to go right now. And I said, well, I'm not going to go right now. Just hold on for a little bit. And they said, but you promised. You promised that if they said we couldn't really. I said, no, just hold on a little bit. Maybe that today is the day. And then she, then there are some things like yes, no, no, to whoever she was talking to. We later found that she was talking to the city manager at that time, Ken Thompson. So she handed the phone to me and said, uh, Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you. And so I said, hello? He said, hi, I'm Ken Thompson. Who am I talking to? I said, I'm Ed James. He says, do I know you? I say, no, Mr. Thompson, I don't think so, and I don't know you. He said, well, I'm the city manager. I understand you want to check out some books from the library. I said, yes. And I understand that you didn't go to the Newtown Library. I said, there is no Newtown Library. You mean those two shelves of old magazines and, and books with torn pages in the community center? He said, um, do your parents know that you were there? I said, no. What would they say if they knew you were there demanding service? I said, they would probably say it's about time. He said, well, would you come down and talk to me? I'm at City Hall. Do you know where City Hall is? I said, no. He says, do you know where the old wooden city piers? I said, yes. He said, well, we're at a building at the back of that pier. I'd like to have a conversation with you. I said, okay, we'll be right there. And so the librarian appeared to be relieved from what she was hearing, and I gave her the phone back. And then my friend would say, where do you say we're going now? <laughs> I said, we're going to City Hall. Where is City Hall? He said, the city pier, you know. Um, the deputy said, I'm not going. He said, they're probably going to drown us there. <laughs> I said, oh, come on, that's not going to happen. So he decided he wasn't going to go. Ralph said, tell you what, I'm going with A.W. so you can tell us what happened when you get back, if you get back. And they walked because I had the car. I went, and that day I met Ken Thompson. The first city hall was where Marina Jacks is now. And that was a wooden structure, not the fancy concrete structure that rises out of Sarasota Bay now. And I sit down and talk with them. He said, where are your friends? I said, well, some of them had something to do, so they went back. And we had probably about a 15-minute talk, and he says, OK, go back, to the li go back to the library and get your books now. And I guess he told her, and she gave me an equivalent of a card, and, and I told her what I was looking for. I don't even remember what it is at this point. I went on back, I saw my friends, and said, you can go to the library now, no thanks to you. And they said, well, you're always fussing with somebody about something. They're going to kill you one day. I said, but it wasn't today. And that's how the library system became integrated. I've done many things 
I like to think I've done more good things than bad. I always try to put people first. And when I speak publicly, I often say, because people would like to brand you how they would like to brand you as a speaker or as an individual. I am anti no one, but I'm unabashedly black. <laughs>